What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast as you can see we're here on Unison League and today we are going to be talking about the patch and I will also have a video linking to this that will be um, the Apollo video. Uh, sorry I haven't um, done a video for a, you know Thursday but I will be doing videos every Thursday now for the update. Just getting you guys prepared and everything um, like that. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the update. Um, Flames of Eternity, Apollo, yes, you can um, actually get the weapon. Honestly, if um, you're playing the game uh, and, you continue, and you're going to continue playing the game for a while, I would suggest at least, at the very least, getting the weapon every time uh, a new event comes around. Um, just get the weapon because you can, this is really the only way you can uh, infuse a weapon like this, um, an event weapon, is getting them every time so you get the event weapon you can infuse it later on uh, with the other another event weapon uh, once you get it again so that's just uh, what I would suggest um, you probably want to get one or two of these armors every time as well just in case you want to switch to Lancer or they become different something like that especially if you're a free-to-play player you want to go ahead and get these um, every time so that's for that um, in terms of like this HP up uh, type of stuff, um, HP up constant, um, these are actually armor class. Um, these are armor class and helm class right here. And these this is clothing class and hat class. So it's really dependent on what you roll here. Uh, and I think if you have two constants at the same time, it's gonna give you around, around 10K HP. Um, so it's really depending on, on uh, if you really need that. Uh, it's good for like a paladin if you get the armor and helm class and you have two of them. But I don't even know if it's as good as two constant magics, magic ups because you're going to be getting killed by mages most of the time anyways. However, it might be good for surviving unisons. So um, if you are a paladin, it's a decent spawn for you, but it's not like incredibly good. I actually wouldn't really recommend it if you don't have a lot of gems um if you're not like really really uh planning on spending more than like 150 to 300 gems on this i wouldn't suggest doing it because for this to be effective you would probably need at least um you know four of these helms and four of these armors as a paladin and to get four helms and four armors it would probably be in the area of 1000 to 2000 gems to get something like that uh, for it to be really effective uh, For it to be like decently effective you can get one of each but um, As a paladin you you would definitely want to get helms and armors You wouldn't want to be stuck with these cloth armors and helmets or uh, cloth armors and hats So if you're a big baller and you are a paladin it would be a decent spawn for you But um, for anyone else I wouldn't suggest it and I didn't do it either uh, as far as the next thing goes, uh, Arthur, I don't think he's um, honestly a good monster just because, yeah, he does a decent amount of damage, but he's a 27 cost, and all he does is give you this, like a, let me see, yeah, a weak version of the Siren buff. So, uh, basically, he's just doing 10% HP of all allies and heals for five percent of their maximum HP every five seconds, so he does a little heal and a like a regen. So it's really only good for PVE, kind of. And even then, I think Siren is still better for PVE. And Siren's not even that great. So honestly, he's not that good. He's okay, but um, I wouldn't suggest getting him. He's not like amazing. Fine is always amazing, but. Um, Again, you won't really use her for PvE, uh, P for PvP. You're using her for PvE all the time. If you, for PvP, you wouldn't really use her unless you're doing it specifically geared towards either haste unison or um, like a unison where you're not planning to either contest them or win. So if you're planning to like lose the unison and then heal back up and then like maybe buff back up, buff up maybe, it would work. But in terms of like unison versus unison contesting unisons you're gonna not you're always gonna lose if you put it put up a 27 cost like this because one it's a neutral monster it's not gonna 
uh, take away from any other element. And two, it's 27 costs, so there's no real real reason to throw this up in a contesting unison. Because you're if you're going versus any like high damage CB Archer uh, line that's using unison, they're just going to throw all Alice's or uh, all Apollo's or all Marduk and you're going to die anyways. So no real reason to do this. Uh, in a PvP setting, unless it's specifically geared for those two other um, options. Okay, so um, in terms of the in terms of the uh, giveaway, I'm gonna go ahead and do that t tomorrow. Uh, the giveaway is gonna be uh, given out to everybody. Uh, make sure you guys t uh, check your um the, the video check if you, you were the winner i will be uh getting it from the comments section uh i will make sure you liked commented and subscribed on both of the uh videos um and then i will choose those two winners and i'll give you guys the uh the gift cards uh for people who are asking me about if it's okay if i get a google play gift card yeah that's fine um i can just uh, make sure what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure all five participants or I mean recipients I guess or winners will um, email me back so I have a conversation going with them because then um, you know it's better that way to know whether they want a Google Play card or they want a iTunes card uh, so I'm picking five for my channel and then the other um, the other channel will pick five as well. Uh, so app find is giving it five out and I'm giving five out so that's ten and then it's a hundred bucks um, and then I'll also uh, just an announcement I'll be giving away um, doing a giveaway let's say I'll do it every 500 subscribers so you know every half point to a thousand I'll every 500 subscribers I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and they'll be getting progressively better and better um, eventually being able to send out t-shirts and stuff like that uh, but Google Play cards and iTunes cards for now um, so yeah that's pretty much how that's gonna work guys I um, I think that's that's about it for this one I'm going to do a video right after this one that's going to be the Apollo video so uh, watch out for that and then the video on Monday um, which is going to be the 1st of February. Uh, sorry, yeah, Monday, yeah, yeah, that's right. So Monday, the 1st of February, it's going to be the giveaway, okay? So that's like one week from the, the prior video, okay? All right. So that's about it for this one, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Give me that like, comment, and subscribe. If you could, I would really appreciate it. As always, thank you guys for watching, and take it easy. Peace.